What's up guys? I'm Chris and today you're watching Magic Review on Deadlock by Michael Murray. Welcome to the channel and thanks for tuning in. Please consider subscribing. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment on any questions that you have about the product I'm reviewing or anything you'd like to see in the future. Let me know your thoughts. Also, don't forget to click that notification bell so you don't miss a video or a review. Deadlock is a mentalism prop, utility, tool, whatever you'd like to call it, that can assist you in plenty and plenty of mentalism routines that you already have, or this can be used as a standalone to come up with your own routines as well as the ones that are provided with the product. So this is a lock. It's, it's a real lock. It locks and unlocks. Now the method behind this is absolutely brilliant. This is Surefire and I've been using it in my working shows uh, since the day I got it. Basically, you're able to hand this to a participant and explain to them that you are going to transmit a specific date to them and that that date will in fact unlock the lock. Uh, you also invite them to try any other random code and, you know, just to to realize and to be sure that the lock will not unlock under those circumstances and that it is truly a real lock. And of course, when they enter the code or the digits that they came up with originally through that transmission or however you want to present it, then of course the lock will unlock. So I'll get into a little bit of the ways that I use this here in a bit, but that is what deadlock is. There are three versions of this. Actually, there are six versions of this. So there are the UK versions and then there are the US variants. And the difference between those is that in the UK, opposed to the United States or uh, North America, I, I live in Canada and I bought the US variant because that suits where I'm from better, we usually will have, we'll, we'll present the date as being the month first and then a date. And we're in the UK, they'll do the day first and then the month. That'll make sense when you watch the tutorial, but if you're from the US or Canada, you'll want to go with the US variant. However, either one, it works the same, the workings are the same, both work very well. So I picked up the smallest version to carry on my key ring and to use this as an EDC item. I used this in one show, liked it so much that I decided I should get the large version that I would use in my stage and parlor performances. So uh, the packaging, it comes in a nice metal tin like this, as well as a velvet bag. Underneath that bag is your tutorial link. And then this is the large version that I now use in my shows. So I like having both options. Just I'll carry this one on me all the time. And then this one is specific for shows. There are a few different price points on this. So whether or not you're getting the UK or the US variant, those prices stay the same. The smallest version I believe is $52. The medium I think was around 60 and then the large version here is 65. The quality on these are as good as any lock you will purchase at a hardware store. It obviously works differently, but like I said, the method is brilliant and uh, I think you'd be surprised by the method. Uh, it's very, very easy to use <clears throat> and you know, it's a, it's a nice sturdy lock. It's heavy, right? So you know that the quality is there and you know i'll just i'll show you so right now this would be any random date you get your participant to think of a date they enter in the date that you've sent them and the lock unlocks okay so you know without going into further detail there it's very easy to use and it gets huge reactions because not only are you performing but you're also including your spectator to kind of be the star or, or yeah the, have the star role of this routine and you give them the ability 
to unlock these areas of their mind or however you want to present it. So overall, very, very good. I've even used this in my adult comedy show that involves a lot of mentalism. The comedic aspect that I used on this was that I had a married woman lend me her ring. I clipped her ring onto the lock and I gave her the lock. And I told her what we were going to do. And then I followed up by saying, regardless of whether or not this works with you, you will get your ring back. It may just be a lot heavier now. So it got a good laugh. And then, of course, it worked and got the applause. And, you know, so I think there are so many applications that can be applied to this. If you're doing like a mentalism show and you have a prediction box, if you want to give that box to a participant at the beginning of the show, which is something I've done before where I presented a uh, lottery prediction. But this adds another element because now you can, I, and I and I did have a lock on the box before, but now you can add another element or another phase to the effect by using deadlock, and then that's another phase to that overall routine. So before the prediction, you'd go through the routine with deadlock. So you can apply this to so much. The tutorial is about 30 minutes long, 31 minutes, and it is presented by Michael Murray. He explains everything in full t detail very well. His instructions are very clear, and I was using this as soon as I finished the tutorial. There are also ideas presented, different subtleties, and tips on ways to present or scripting and wording. On top of that, there's also a Facebook users group. There's also a PDF booklet that has been released since this has come out that includes you know, a lot of other ideas, tips, and things like that. So you're getting a lot on top of just getting, you know, the prop itself. You get a great tutorial. You get access to the Facebook page, which has, you know, ideas from other users, lots of information, and then the PDF booklet as well, which I just recently received. The difficulty level is very easy with this. It's so easy that you're not even the one doing it, right? Um, so that allows you to really focus on presentation, which is usually the case with mentalism, right? You're able to focus on your presentation and really work out a good routine that will be powerful and solid to you as a performer and whatever would suit your style. I've used this a few times now in different shows and with each participant that I had, none, none of them had any problems in you know, making this work exactly the way that it should. It's went perfectly every single time. There is one thing that I want to mention in the negatives, and it's it's not a negative to this. I just mention it because it will be something that you want to be aware of. Angles, no angle restrictions. This can be done surrounded. Uh, so if you're carrying the small version as an EDC or performing close up, you don't have to worry about any type of angles. And if you're doing a stage or parlor, performance likely your audience is going to be in front of you but again no angle restrictions set up and reset once uh, this is ready to go it's an instant reset no arts and crafts it's ready to go out of the box just learn how to use it and go for it pocket space so like I said the, the small version takes up very very little space I carry this on my key ring uh, and then the the large version too like it's it's great for a larger performance but again, it doesn't take up a lot of space. I just got this version because, you know, it's a more robust version and it's going to be seen a little bit better than this. It seemed a bit more appropriate for stage and, and uh, parlor performances. Can it be inspected or can it be examined? Absolutely, because they're the ones that are handling this. As they handle it, they're doing the examination, right? They're looking at it, they're touching it, they're holding it. They are working the device like <clears throat> there's really no further inspection or examination that can take place here is this a worker whether you're using this as a hobbyist or just somebody who enjoys performing magic if you carry this version you can have it on you at all times even the medium version like there's not a huge difference in these <clears throat> the medium will be in between this right so none of them take up a lot of space you can carry any of these on you this one I just find fits best to carry on a key ring. But is this a worker? Absolutely, right? You can carry this and walk around. You can carry this 
as your EDC. You can use this at stage shows, parlor, any type of paid performance. So 100% this is a worker. I've used it three or four times now in my own shows and I will continue to use it whether I use it the same way that I have before or I adapt it to other routines. Obviously this is designed to be used in mentalism. However, if you're a magician and you don't do a lot of mentalism, I don't see any reason that you couldn't still use this, right? There are different ways to apply this lock to different performances. So whether or not you're using this as a mentalism piece or you're using this as part of a magic routine, I believe that it can find its place as long as you put your creative thinking into it. I think if, if you can find a way to make this work for you, it's a great item to have and it has very, very powerful reactions. Is it worth your money? And then we'll get into pros and cons. It's 50, 60, 65 dollars. There are other locks on the market that are uh, similar to this. Now, I don't know about the workings, but I just mean in as an effect, right? Uh, but with this, it's extremely well made. Like you can feel the quality in this when you lift it up. I can't see a method being easier than this. So I don't know how the other ones work. I have nothing good or bad to say about other ones since I don't own them. I can't see the method being easier or more surefire than this. So if this is something that you can use, I believe this is 100% worth the money. I think this is a great price and I wouldn't expect this to be too cheap. Maybe if it were a cheap quality lock it would be cheaper but I would rather have the quality and the durability in this knowing that it's a well-made product and that it's going to last and pay a bit more than to get something that is likely going to break maybe the inside mechanism could be uh, fragile or whatever right I like how this is I like how it works and I believe that the price point is great and pros and cons. A lot of the pros I've already touched on, whether I was talking about the lock itself or just different ways that you can apply it and the versatility of this. Uh, negatives, this isn't a negative to the lock. It's just something that you want to be aware of. So I believe that Michael goes over this, whether it's in the video tutorial or I read it somewhere, but one thing to be aware of is just eyesight. Your participant, they're going to have to be able to read the numbers and the smaller the lock the smaller the numbers so there is a line on here that is basically where they're going to want to line up their thought of numbers to but the numbers on the edc or i shouldn't say edc version because that's not what it's called but then the numbers on the small version are pretty small i have no problem seeing them at all if you have good or decent eyesight that's not going to be an issue but if you get somebody up there who wears maybe a stronger prescription glasses and isn't having, isn't wearing their glasses, that could be an issue. So uh, you're going to want to choose your participant well, I guess, and just make sure that they can see all right. And then with the larger version, the numbers are obviously a bit bigger. So just something to be aware of. Definitely not a negative because you couldn't, like the, the numbers are as big as they can be for what this is, right? If you made the numbers bigger, I don't know how you do that. Not a negative to the lock, just something to be aware of. Uh, aside from that, I don't think I have any other negatives. It's very well made, and to me, this is something that is surefire. As long as your participants are kind of following along with, with what you're saying, then there should be no, no issues with this. And the instructions that you're giving, not even necessarily instructions, but you know, the way that you're presenting this, it's so clear. You can even give examples. So if you have the US variant, like I do, where it's month and date first, then you can even give them an example. So you'd say, if you were thinking of February 27th, which is my birthday, <laughs> I wouldn't use that one. But uh, if you're thinking of February 27th, you would enter 0227. You know, it's it's very straightforward, very simple. It's not one of those things that's going to confuse your participant, right? So I have nothing but good things to say about this, and I will continue to use this. I don't see myself ever not using this now that I have it. It's always going to be in my, in my working set. With that, I think I've covered everything that, that I wanted to say about Deadlock. I'll leave links in the description below if you want to check this out make the purchase and with that we'll see you at the next review